Breaking Disney news, Disney has raised their prices. For those of you who are not familiar with this channel, um, I promise it doesn't normally look like this. I'm currently traveling, hence the bad lighting and the background that isn't typical for me. But anyways, I wanted to really quickly jump on and get this recorded. So I need to be at an appointment in like 10 minutes, but I want to quickly get this up. So um, anyway, what I was saying was Disney has raised their admission prices as well as their parking prices. So what does this mean for us? So this means that tickets have gone up for non-passes have gone up by up to $50, if I'm not mistaken. As far as annual passes, most of them have gone up by $150, whereas the highest tier, which is the Inspire Key, and the lowest tier in Chat Key? I'm sorry, I can't remember exactly what it's called off the top of my head, but the California Resident Key, the Southern California Resident Key, that also went up by $50. The other two keys, so, oh, sorry. So yeah, the Enchant Key is the second to that lowest. Um, but the Enchant Key and the Believe Key, which is what I have, went up by $150. Personally, I'm not going to be renewing my Magic Key because of this. $50, a $50 increase over the course of, you know, a one-year, you know, span, I could easily do. But at a $150 price increase, I don't think I want to even consider that right now. Reason being is that, it, for those of you that don't know, I live in Hawaii, and as is, Hawaii is already expensive, and in order to keep my Believe key, I would need to um, still travel up to California at least three to four times a year just to go to Disney. And of course, you know, I do have this channel, but I really need to weigh out if it's going to be worth it in the future. You know, YouTube doesn't make me money. I do this because I like talking about Disney, and you know, once again, It'll save me money by not getting the Believe key. Uh, so I was I was considering downgrading my key at renewal time to the Enchant key. But once again, with a $150 price increase, I don't think I'm going to do that. 2025, we'll have to see. Um, but on top of that, uh, in 2025, I am also looking at traveling to Tokyo Disney to do some content there. Even more so, I think that, you know, basically Disneyland and Disney World are getting people are getting priced out. Don't get me wrong, I understand why price increases need to happen. California has, it's very expensive. You know, much like Hawaii, um, housing is expensive. The cost of their petrol or their gas for their cars is expensive. Like we're talking six plus dollars per gallon. And even in Hawaii, it is not that expensive for petrol. You know, and I understand that, you know, minimum wages are going to go up, operating costs are going up. And then they're also doing these huge expansions like an Avengers Campus, they're building new rides, they're going to be retheming a lot of things. So I get it. I get why price increases need to happen. I'm just saying for me, myself, and my broke butt, because, you know, as I always say, I am your typical broke Disney fan from Hawaii. You know, for, for me and my brokenness, uh, I don't think, I don't think it's worth it. Uh, not for how I visit. If, you know, one day I were to make a decent amount of money, of course, then it would probably be worth it. But um, at this point, I don't think I'm going to renew my Believe key because $1,300 is a little bit more than I am wanting to spend. So throughout this whole thing, or at the end of this, I'm not quite sure where I'm going to edit it in. Once again, very minimal, minimal editing on this, I am so sorry. Just keep in mind that these graphics I did not make, they were sent to me. Yeah, that's crazy and I mean, it is it is actual news. This is real. You know, all the news, all the news sites are reporting on it and I wanted to tell you and it's currently like seven in the morning. So I need to get this edited because I have to be somewhere in about five minutes. So I'll see you later, bye.